Hi everybody, it's David Fleming here from the Toronto Realty Blog, and today I wanted to talk about land assemblies. A land assembly, as you would probably assume, is when one person or a group of people or speculator, real estate investment trust, developer, they pick up properties, assemble them, and make them into one package. Now this, to me, ladies and gentlemen, is the future of development in Toronto, specifically condo development. Because everyone thinks that a condo is just built on some available plot of land. And yes, at one time, in the 60s and the 70s, Toronto was just a city of parking lots downtown. And uh, the CBC archives, and I think maybe uh, BlogTO, they did some features on aerial shots of what Toronto looked like. And yes, it was just a ton of parking lots. So of course, developers had a lot to choose from when they were building not only condos, but also, uh, you know, but commercial towers and bank buildings and that sort of thing. This, folks, this is the future. You need a land assembly. You need years. You need deep pockets and you need, uh, I don't know, whatever tactics are necessary to buy up what we have here. About 10 houses in a row. Assemble them. Be patient. Make the finances work. And ultimately, have all of them ready to go and then rezone it and pre-sell it and develop it. This one day, folks, will be well, you can't really see it over here. A massive 38-story tower. Now, this is 150 Red Path. It's going to be built by Freed and the most delicious developer in the city, Broccolini. Yes, Broccolini, the broccoli developer. And uh, right across the street over there where you can see that crane, that is the sister building, 155 Red Path. That was also a land assembly. And so it's sort of a before and after, which is really kind of cool. Because here you see all the houses, and I remember when there were actual people living in here. Um, and over there on the corner, right there, you can see they've taken down the houses, they've got the crane, and they are starting to excavate. So this is it, guys. There is no land left in the city of Toronto. And uh, there was an interview on BNN with, uh, I believe it was Lantera Developments, and the gentleman was saying that he just cannot buy parcels of land. He's getting outbid, and there's nothing left to buy. And of course, I ripped him for saying that the condo market was going to go up 50% in the next three to four or five years, or whatever it was, but that's a topic for another day. The point that he made was very true. There are no more massive parking lots. There are no more open, vacant pieces of land. This is the future of development. In order to build, you need to assemble properties. And so I did a video back in the day, maybe I'll see if I can pull that up, put it along with this vlog, on the Berwick, way back. I think I called it Monopoly at the Berwick, and it was the same thing, it was a massive land assembly. And now you drive by and you see townhouses, and you see a massive skyscraper, but do you remember when that was houses being lived in by people? Because that's exactly what this is. The entire area of Young Egg is just booming. And see this building here? This is a rental building. I remember when this was like a little church or some new agey health thing, but it's a massive deep piece of land. Somebody bought it, rezoned it, built a massive building on this. And that's what you have to do. I don't want to say think outside the box because it sounds cheesy, but you may have somebody buy, say, an apartment building and redevelop it because there is just no more land in the city. And when people are doing land assemblies and waiting years and years and being patient, you can see just how tough it is to get a condominium on the ground in Toronto these days.